All right, we're here at the Mission Control Center at the Vandenberg Air Force Base in Lompoc, California. This is uh, Pierce Sellers, astronaut, three-time um, returned <laughs> astronaut, yes. yes. Most recently you were up on uh, the shuttle uh, yeah, last about, year. About a year and a half ago, yeah. And you can't wait to get back to space, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, who's going to pay? Right. Yeah, yeah. How much money you got? We, uh, we, we pulled some duct tape out of his, uh, <laughs> out of his car. He was going to strap himself to the yeah. rocket. No. We, well, I, I tell you, I mean, I'm, you know, I enjoyed that a lot, but I've enjoyed my current my current job too. You know, climate scientist geek. It's, yeah, it's a lot of fun too. This is it pretty is. cool. I mean, it's it a big deal. We didn't have enough time on TV to talk about um, what's going on, so I want appears in his own words to tell you uh, why he has uh, an important stake in the mission that's going to take place here, uh, MPP being launched into space on Friday morning, and uh, a new wave of satellites from NOAA and NASA. Yeah, that's right. I mean, this this beast is going to give us a lot of, of really precise kind of information that we need to check all our, our weather forecast models. Those will all go better, hopefully, mm. with, the, with the data from this. So I'll keep you in business. Mm. And But also for the climate uh, area, which is where I was uh, I was working, there's nothing so good for checking, you know, how realistic your model is as the real facts. Well, you, and, you've and been up there. You've seen it with your own eyes. That's right. You, you're big into vegetation. I am big into vegetation. Actually, I was big into the whole carbon cycle. That was the, uh -huh. the, what I was doing, trying to link that to the climate system in a big computer model um, and you know the early models just uh, failed again and again and we knew they failed because the satellite data told us they failed and so I'm really looking forward to you know more data here check out the theories make things better and you know as a scientist that's the one thing you can never have too much data I mean this thing is you know five instruments and obviously it's going to give us some visual stuff mm -hmm. uh, it's going to measure ozone it's also going to be tracking the oceans uh, El Nino, La Nina, right. uh, ice sheets ice sheets yeah. and the vegetation I mean you know one thing uh, wildfires right. I mean in Maryland we had to deal with the uh, the great dismal swamp fire in southeast Virginia that actually blew smoke up the Chesapeake a couple of days that uh, right. really impacted you our air quality. The great dismal swamp would need a good fire from time to time. You know? Dismal, so, yeah, right? Cheer it up. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. That's some excitement. Yeah. No, that's right. You can, you can see those big fires from space, actually. Remember all the uh, fires in Texas yes. uh, this summer with a drought? Visible from space station. Huge plumes of smoke. You know, with all the burnt patches. And that has an impact that. on us. I mean, the it wind does. flow can take that stuff, and we can see how yeah. those those fires are behaving. Yeah. And, uh, you know, behind us, we have this control center. Sylvia working the cameras here. Go ahead, walk around. This is, uh, this is a little this is live, off the live action. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't get up because I'm tethered live to my to, chair. Live to tape. But this is the control room, and, uh, you know, there's the, there's the tower. We're waiting for the big rollback as uh, uh, this afternoon we should be able to see what the actual rocket looks like when they uh, take the the casing and tower away from it, but uh, we are 12 miles away from the actual um, launch pad itself, and it's going to be an exciting thing. Now, you've seen, you've been on one of these, you know, Not one like big that, thrusters yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> this one's going to be quick, right? Apparently so. That's why I've been told that this guy does not hang around. No. Uh, it's a very uh, fast acceleration, very powerful, solid rocket boosters on it. It'll be gone in like two minutes out of sight. It's like zero to 60 in like a fraction yeah, so, of a second. So d don't get distracted. Don't go off for a coffee, you know, and wait back. To, uh, expect right. it to sort of be still ambling its way to orbit. You know, if you blink, you miss it. A couple of minutes. A couple of minutes is there. gone, yeah. Five but, miles a second. But it won't be that quick until we actually get the stuff from the satellites. No. It'll get up there, and in the first uh, day or so, it does all the important stuff, like put out solar arrays, get power, you know, and check out some survival systems. But before we get the data back from the instruments, that could be anywhere between like 30 and 60, uh, 30 and 90 days, that whole checkout process. Okay. So it'll be a while. I bet you they'll, they'll get you some images to look at. Oh, uh, I'm sure. Uh, 90 days. They, they, they love to show off. Oh, well, we want to see, of course. I want to be able uh, to show something on TV. Yeah, and you'll, you'll get that. You have one thing. Yeah. One thing you can say about this, you know, your connection and what you're really uh, uh, excited about. I am relieved, frankly. Well, I will be relieved <laughs> once it's launched. I'm relieved that we've got to have a capability back again to continue the climate data record. I was uh, concerned that we'd have a big hole, a big gap between all these really good measurements before an MPP. But and then just show you, Sylvia, keep rolling because he's about to do a live shot with, uh, what's his next station? Next station, we have uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis, man, you've been doing this for a few hours and... Uh, Since two o'clock. Man, you're still going. Yeah. So That's yeah. coffee and enthusiasm. So keep it rolling. You're, you get it from behind the scenes, so you can get an idea what this little set looks like here. And uh, I'll step out of the way. Let Piers go. Hello. 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 <laughs> 
Well, this MPP satellite, and you can see it right right behind me uh, on its rocket there being processed, uh, got to launch in two days from here in California. It's a very large, very capable satellite. It's um, about the size of an SUV. It's got five big instruments on it that are going to do all kinds of useful things for weather prediction and for climate science. Uh, here you can see the kind of maps of cloudiness that we're going to get from it and the ice sheets. Ocean surface temperatures, you know, that's really important for things like hurricane prediction, El Ninos. Ozone, uh, the uh, circulation and density of ozone. And also the vegetation activity, and that's important for things like droughts and, and hot spots. Um, so this is a climate, a climate uh, monitoring and weather prediction satellite.